Malaysia has been hit hard by the pandemic. Many families find it hard to make ends meet. Tsiji Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter launched a food care program and set up more than 40 distribution sites to provide fruits, vegetables and dry food to those in need. The event has inspired many people to do good deeds. Among them, an employee of a company called on his co-workers to donate rice, working with Tsiji to contribute to the community. This truck of rice was going to be sent to Wawang, Selinga for food care distribution. We have asked him to deliver the rice to the distribution site, yet we are surprised to learn that he has helped us raise enough rice for distribution. Zhong Xiaowen has been calling for co-workers to donate rice for three consecutive weeks. The response was very enthusiastic. At first, about 20 people responded to the event. Some even donate money for four consecutive weeks. During this pandemic, if our company can contribute our part to help people in need, we're very pleased to do it. During the pandemic, Tsuzi Kuala Lumpur and Zlangan Traptor launched a food care program to care for the community. Forty distribution sites were set up to provide fruits, vegetables and dry food to people in need. Oh, yeah. Going to one year already. Oh. Since this uh, COVID uh, came, uh, then no more already, no working already. Because he got stroke, uh, so he got so so. Uh. So that one we use for makan. Uh. <laughs> I ate two meals a day with rice and vegetables and fried eggs only. Jelishmi was unemployed due to the pandemic. Her husband and younger son fell ill, making her life even worse. A family of seven relied on the income of one of her children. We eat simple food, sometimes just instant noodles. My youngest child is nine years old and his name is Zhang. He suffers from heart disease. So he needs to go to Salayang Hospital and the National Heart Center often, about three or four times a month. At the distribution sites, epidemic prevention measures were strictly followed. There are volunteers coming to do disinfection every week. We don't want to spread any cluster infection or infect our volunteers. Disinfection is very important because we need to help others at the same time we also need to disinfect ourselves. Under the pandemic, everyone contributes their efforts to tide over these difficulties together.